In this video, we tour some wineries in Aro, Spain. Aro is a town in the Rioja region, and many of Rioja's top wines are made from vineyards in and around Aro. That includes Cune, Roda, Viña Todonia, La Rioja Alta, and Muga. First, we're taking you on a tour with us of Viña Tordoña. Normally, you can't see this tour on YouTube, but we were given special permission by the winery to film and publish this. The winery in Otto is still a work in progress. Walking through it, you can feel its history. But unique is a shop designed by architect Zaha Hadid in the early 1900s for a booth at the World's Fair. It has a distinct Art Nouveau feel to it. Viña Tondonia was established in 1877 by Rafael López de Heredia y Landeta. This makes it the third oldest winery in Rioja, after Marques de Murrieta in 1856 and Bodegas Montesillo in 1874. Many of the barrels in which the wine is aged are constructed from American oak, but the winery uses older French and American oak barrels for the maturation of their wines, which allows for a slow development of flavor and texture. Viña Tondonia never intended to produce wine for the masses. Rather, from its founding, it concentrated on producing fine wines meant for the elite. In the early 20th century, it's targeted those with automobiles, ties, proficiency in English, and connections to the royal household. Today, it produces one of Rioja's finest wines, and it's starting to get a lot of attention from wine critics. These underground wine caves, stretching for nearly a mile toward the Ebro River, were started in 1877 when the winery was built. The caves have historical significance and they play a foundational role in the winery's operations from the very beginning. The cellars, designed for the aging of wine, are an essential part of Viña Tondonia's winemaking tradition contributing to the unique characteristics of its wines. It was quite an experience to tour a winery and wine caves that were 146 years old. Viña Tondonia adheres to traditional winemaking methods using native yeasts and long aging periods in older barrels crafted in their own cooperage. 
This approach ensures wines with lower alcohol volumes but higher acidity, offering unique textures and flavors. Phylloxera, a pest that destroyed many established grapevines in France, hit France in the 1860s. The French then turned to Spain to grow grapes for their wines during the crisis. They taught the Spanish how to grow and make top quality wines. In fact, many French wines during the 1870s through 1880s were actually Spanish wines from Rioja. In the caves, the winery stores many of its wines, some of which are nearly 150 years old now. The bottles are meticulously stacked, some covered with spiderwebs and dust, showing the age of the bottles. At the end of the tour, we were treated to a tasting, showcasing some of the finest red and white wines to come out of Rioja. They were paired with typical Spanish accompanying foods like jamón, bread, and cheese. The winery also features unique furniture crafted from the barrels once they've outlived their usefulness for aging wine. While in Aro, we also visited Muga, which is one of our favorite Rioja wines. We visited the on-site restaurant and tasting room at Muga, where we were treated to some of the best wines of our trip. Muga was founded in 1932. It combines traditional winemaking methods with cutting edge modern techniques, which produce a rich, unique, and satisfying Spanish wine. Muga wines, like many Spanish Rioja wines, have a good balance of lush red fruit combined with a strong tannic backbone that ensures they will last for years. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing culinary adventures.